everyone, it's Bobby from Dig Coding here and this is the 21st video in the building and launching a real Django website series. So if this is the first time to my channel, then welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe and like the video as it's a massive help. And also, if you would like to support the channel, then please look at the link in the description below to the Patreon page. Any pledges are massively welcomed as it supports us in, in doing these videos. So let's jump into this video. In this video, video, what we're going to do is we're going to add a scheduler to our project so that we can start populating our media URL with some information from YouTube. So in the next video, we'll be writing an API so that we can go to YouTube, retrieve data from our playlists and save it in our model, so our media model, and then we can present that data on our media URL. So this is kind of part one, next video is part two, and it's basically, the, sorry, the scheduler in this video will then be running that API on a regular basis that is almost real time. So let's jump into it, look at my screen. So we've got the Sublime Text is open. Uh, this is the requirements. You can see that we haven't got requests. We don't need that just yet, but we do need AP scheduler. So the link to that is in the description below. So it's a library that allows us to do schedules. Uh, right, okay, this is uh, CMD's command prompt is open. You can see that I've already uh, fired up the virtual environment and I've already typed in pip install AP scheduler. Anyone would think that my typing skills were atrocious. They are, they're terrible. I can't type very well. So no typos there. All I've got to do is press enter and that will then pip install all of the library um, and all of the packages that are needed to make this library work. So we're good to go. We now need a directory in our project called uh, jobs. So let's go new and we'll go, this can be called jobs. And then within that, we now need a file called new file and we'll save as, and this can be in jobs and this will be called jobs.py. And we will need another one in here called updata.py. Okay, so now we've got this uh, new directory. It's not an app, you don't need it to be an app. So we normally would do Django admin start app, call it jobs, but this isn't an app. It won't have models, it won't have views or anything like that. It's just a module that we're adding to the project so we can call it. Okay, in jobs, what we're going to do is we're going to create a function just called schedule API, but it's not going to do anything, but we need that in here so that we can call it in the updater. So in today's video, we won't actually see much of an outcome from the coding, but in tomorrow's, or in the next video that I'll be filming tomorrow will be the YouTube API, and at which point that will then start firing in. But we don't need to do that just yet. Um, but what we will do, we will import uh, from django.conf import settings we'll need that tomorrow don't need a space there there we go and we'll put import json and and that's it and then what we'll do we'll have a def and we'll call this um, schedule api and pass for now save Right, okay, that's our jobs.py file done. We don't need to do anything else there. Then what we need to do is we need to op open our updata.py. So from this we need, or in here we need from daytime import daytime. We need from ap scheduler dot scheduler dot backgrounds import and what's this called sorry I'm looking at my notes background at scheduler background scheduler then from dot jobs import jobs right so what we want is a function in here called start and we want to instantiate the background scheduler that we just imported. So uh, we'll call it 
scheduler equals background scheduler. And then we want to scheduler, we want to call it a method that they've got in there called add job. Uh, scheduler dot add job. And in here we will add, it's not jobs, that's um, schedule API. Because I need that in the add job method. So, and then we have interval. And then lastly, the keyword argument is how frequent do you want to run the code? So um, I'm going to be using this for YouTube in the next video. So I'm going to be calling YouTube probably every 10 minutes. No, let's go every every 20 minutes, right? So minutes equals, and we'll just put 20. So every 20 minutes, we're going to make a call to YouTube to get data from the playlist that we've got on the decoding channel. And then we want to save that into our models in the main model media object. Makes sense, right? So, and then we want to go scheduler dot start. And that's it, that's all we need in the updates.py file. Um, so it's three lines of code, um, which is very, very easy, very lightweight, but it can do so many fancy things. That you should really look at the docs, the link to which in the description below. So let's save the updater. By the way, I have done another video about AP Scheduler. The link to it is just up here, but that's just doing a call on a random API. So this is implementing that scheduler into a real project, which is this one here. So what we need to do is we now need to call this updater when the app starts. So you only have to call it once. So once it's called, it will then just continue firing away every 20 minutes until you tell it to stop or remove the code. So this will just keep on chugging away until you tell it to stop, which is fantastic, right? Saves a lot of time and effort. Saves me having to keep clicking into YouTube, getting the data or double handling. You know, I don't want to be doing that in any sort of project. So now what we need to do is we need to go into main because we've got this app. You can use any of the apps that you've got, but we've only got main at the minute. So if we go into apps.py, within this class here, main config, there is a method called ready that runs in the background, but you can actually overwrite that. So what we'll do is def ready, and it takes in self. Okay, we now need to import something. And the reason we add the import here just under ready is because of inheritance. So you'd, if you were to add the import up here, it just won't work. I've made that mistake a few times. Just make sure you add it in here, else it just won't register. So from jobs, import, updater. And then under here we want updater dot start. And that is it. That is it. In fact, no, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to change this from pass to print. Okay. Save and in the apps, no, in the updater.py file, I'm gonna change that to seconds and I'm gonna do this every five seconds just to double check that we've got it right. So save, I'll go on the command prompt there, let's run a server. Python manage.py run server. Here's where I find out I've messed something up. What have we got here? Uh, AP scheduler dot scheduler, no module name found. Where am I? Okay, what have we got? So I've probably got a typo there. Do you know what? So he's messing around. I'm going to, there we go. Yeah, I did have a typo. I do apologize. It's AP scheduler dot schedulers dot background. Another typo. Now let's give it a go. Um, <laughs> Django.conf conf import settings. Import settings. And where's that? That's in jobs job. Yeah, I can hear you laughing away. All right, that looks good. It seems to be working. So, oh, there we go. Okay, that should. Five seconds. There are about. Okay. It's working. It's fantastic, right? So now, at the minute, all it's doing is just printing OK, right? So 
If I change that to pass, it'll reload and it won't do anything, right? So it's now ready. So I don't, it's doing this every five seconds in the background, but it's not doing anything. So um, in the next video, in the YouTube video, that's when we'll re you know, really start um, benefiting from the scheduler because we'll be calling YouTube's API and retrieving all of the data from YouTube, from our pay playlist, so we can get the video, the thumbnail, the iframe, save it into our database, and then we can display that into our uh, website for the world to see. Fantastic. So, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, like I said at the start of the video, if you would like to support this channel, then the link to our Patreon page is just down here. Any pledges are more than welcome. So, please don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you.